Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover in London, and I'm here with Ken Wan. And you guys have a new offering that ties into Microsoft's very forward-looking Azure Stack. And maybe for people who don't know, what is Azure Stack? Yeah, so we're, we're doing some work with, with Microsoft around their Azure offering. And what Microsoft and both HPE agree on is that most customers are looking for some sort of hybrid environment for their, for their uh, for, for, for their IT environment. So not only just using public cloud, but also using private cloud also. So Microsoft has created some new software called Azure Stack that will allow customers to have the Azure experience, all those services, but running in their data center. So for those applications that have particular data sovereignty or security requirements, compliance requirements, um, la very latency sensitive or, or cost, very cost focused, all those now can go into a, a private cloud that is fully compatible with, with Azure Public Cloud, which is, so, so that's really the exciting thing that we're talking about today. Okay, and so they had previously done something called Azure Pack, right? And so that's right. how is that different than Azure Stack? So a couple years ago, or a few years ago, Microsoft realized that this hybrid world is a really important thing. And they rolled out something called Azure Pack. And this Azure Pack provides, uh, uh, they, they call it a, an Azure consistent cloud, uh, which means that the, the look and feel, the portal, feels the same of what's running in your data center with Azure Pack, is the same as what's in, in, Azure, stat, in, in Azure Public Cloud, but the services themselves are not API compatible. And so as, as Microsoft um, brought this to market and had more experience with it, they realized that it would be great if they had that API compatible, that full, full workload portability capability. And so that's when they went down the path of developing Azure Stack. So Azure Stack, which they announced in January, um, coming, uh, with, and, and as they usually do, there's a, there's a, they announced it early. Yep. Um, they announced a roadmap with it, and so Azure Stack provides you full API compatibility, full workload portability with Azure. So there's a huge amount of interest, as you can imagine, because this compatibility between private clouds and public clouds has been a challenge for a lot of companies. And you can move, move workloads back and forth if you wanted to, I assume. That's right, and the idea is that you can develop an application and develop and deploy that exact same app into, into Azure public clouds or into Azure Stack data centers running in your own data center with no code changes. So that's, that's very exciting to a lot of our customers. So for a customer who's looking at something like this, is there a particular type of customer? I mean, is it somebody who's largely been a Microsoft shop in the past, or is there any other sort of patterns that you're seeing? Yeah, so customers who are very, who are using, uh, who are having Microsoft customers, people who are using Azure today, um, people who have applications that are .NET apps, Java apps, um, are all good targets for, or, or good, good um, people to look at this, this uh, Azure Stack offering. And so you said it's, in, it's got a technical preview happening right now. What does that mean in terms of, like, let's say, um, I wanted to go out and, and start looking at this as a solution for my company. So one of the things that we've done is we are building a, a full integrated solution for Azure Stack, which will include the, the Microsoft Azure Stack software and the HPE infrastructure, all built out, tested, uh, and built in our factories and then deployed in a customer's data center. Now, what's available right now is Technical Preview 2 from Microsoft. In fact, we have a white paper that's out there that people can download to see how to install that on one of our servers today. They want to try it out to, to experience it. Uh, and then over time, uh, we're, we're also helping customers to, uh, who want to do a POC. We can help them uh, do this, do, do, get, get the hardware, get the services, install it, get it configured, out, configured up so they can experience it. Um, the other thing we've done is that we've opened a joint innovation center with Microsoft where we have Microsoft experts and HPE experts together so that our customers can come and uh, have deep technical conversations or business conversations around how to implement Azure Stack in their data centers. Now for somebody that's interested in, in like pursuing this when it is actually um, final release, is this something where you could, you could deploy on the um, technical review right now and then as soon as it cuts over to a, a market shipping, you can just kind of flip a switch and go live with that? A little unclear exactly how that's working uh, because the, the product is still in development. Sure. And the product becomes available the middle of next year. Uh, so, so the upgrade path is still being figured out. 
Um, but what's really exciting is that we do have a, a platform that people can get now, a very specific server configuration based on a DL380, and then you can download the TP2 uh, bits, the technical preview bits, and then try it out and, and experience it and, and start to, to use it within your data center to prepare for it when it becomes available. Is there a minimum number of nodes during the preview? For the preview, it's a single node system. Uh, when we actually ship in, in GA next year, it'll, the minimum will be a four node system. And then it'll scale up from there to, to as, as you need um, you know, more VMs. To, to an undefined infinity. That's right, quite, quite, you know, we haven't quite defined how big that'll go yet, but we know that there's a huge, a lot, a huge amount of excitement about this. We're, we're just seeing an incredible amount of interest here at the show, uh, at, the, at the Azure Stack uh, demo booth. Um, so we expect that's going to be, um, a lot of customers are very excited about getting this uh, and implementing it. All right, well, I look forward to seeing where it goes.